So we're going to do a similar process here with this problem as the last video where we use a triangle. And the great thing about doing the triangle method is you don't have to get decimal approximations off a calculator. You can get exact values. Okay, so we're going to say the tangent, the inverse tangent of 7 fourths is equal to some angle. I'll call it theta. So I draw a triangle. It's positive. It's a positive value, so it will be in the first quadrant. So here's theta. And then what do I know about tangent? Well, I'm saying tangent theta is equal to 7 over 4. But tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to make the opposite side 7 and the adjacent side 4. And then I can figure out, because of the Pythagorean theorem, I can figure out what the hypotenuse is. So 4 squared plus 7 squared is going to equal, I'll just call it c squared, so c for the hypotenuse, and that's 16 plus 49, and 16 49 is 65, and so the square root of 65 is going to equal c. Now I have a value for this for this side of the triangle. When I know values of all three sides of the triangle in a right triangle, I can find all the trig functions I need. So that's the great thing. All right, so the sine of theta now, I didn't never actually find out what theta was, but I don't need to. I can find the sine of theta by doing um, opposite over hypotenuse. And then that's going to equal 7 over the square root of 65. They do want you to rationalize the square root of 65. Now, if it's been a while since you've worked with radicals, 65 is 13 times 5, so it's not going to simplify. You can't take the square root of 13 or 5, and it doesn't break down anymore. But you do have to multiply by the square root of 65 over the square root of 65 to rationalize it. So you're going to have 7 times the square root of 65 over 65. Now, you could get a decimal approximation for this, but they wanted it an exact value. Okay? All right. So that's how you do that one. I always liked these. So it's cool. You draw a triangle, and you know two sides already, and then you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, and then you can find whatever trig values you want for that angle.